First of all, when I talk, I would really like it if someone would look at me. <gasps> the Milford High School lecture room packed with people clearly agitated. They came to voice their concern over the school system's leadership, and they witnessed a back and forth between the board members, with one calling for the removal of another over alleged text messages. A vote to move forward with removal proceedings of the member failed. As a voter, I will not vote for any of you ever again, and I have voted for every single one of you on this board. You owe me, and as, long, and as well everybody else in this room, more than what we've seen tonight. Also in the meeting, the superintendent reported 58 employees leaving service, but asked the public to take into account new educational programs put in place. As for the numbers of people leaving, Yes, when we're up 81, over 81 percent over the prior year, I think it's something that should be looked at and something that should be addressed. Overall, it was clear the people in that room were unhappy with the board and they called for more transparency and honesty. Unfortunately, that is something that has been completely lacking this year. I have been lied to so many times. I just cannot take much more. I have zero tolerance for lying. And that's all that has happened all year long. We're not going to get anywhere if, if this is how it continues. And we're too good for this. The meeting ended with one school board member apologizing to the crowd and saying he was embarrassed. And others said they hope they have the courage to do the right thing. The board did manage to get one vote across. They voted to hire a third party to investigate the alleged text messages. In Milford, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.